In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an animated graphic for your Instagram feed using Canva. So keep watching. <laughs> to keep your Instagram feed interesting, you're going to want to switch up your content every now and then. As we all know, videos tend to get more engagement on Instagram than photos. So I'm going to show you how you can take a regular graphic like this and turn it into an animated graphic like this. So let's head over to Canva. Now in order to use this feature, you are going to need Canva for work. Canva for work is $12.95 a month and you can get a 30 day trial. So on the home page of Canva, let's start with an Instagram post. So in the search bar, you can just start typing Instagram and your choices will come up Instagram post or Instagram story. So we're gonna select Instagram post. So I'm gonna go over to my uploads. I already have some graphics that I would like to use. So let's get our graphic onto our canvas. I'm gonna take this photo of the flowers. I want my flowers over here to the left. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this horizontally so that my flowers are on the other side. And now let's just stretch the image out by pulling at the corners until it fits the whole shape of the Instagram post. There we go. So now we wanna add our text. So just go over to the left and click text, and then click on text to add it to page. So let's say we did a blog post and we want to direct people to that blog post from Instagram. Um, let's do 10 gift ideas for Mother's Day. So what I'm doing is just copying my text instead of going over here and adding a new one. I just copied the text and then write new text. Okay, now that you have your text on the screen, you're just gonna wanna change the font and size to what you want it to be. So I think I will use the this one. So I'm just gonna spread that out to make it one line by pulling at the corners, and then you can pull at the corners again to make it larger or smaller. You can also simply click right up here at the top and change the font size to whatever you want it to be. Now for the Mother's Day, I'm going to go with a different font, uh, maybe a cursive or script font, just to make our text a little more interesting. Let's make that big because that's the highlight of our text, Mother's Day. And then you can just slide and drag to arrange it on the screen how you want it. So this is your graphic that you're going to put in Instagram. And in the caption, you might say something like, hey, I did a blog post. Are you struggling with what to get your mom for Mother's Day this year? Head over to my blog for 10 gift ideas for Mother's Day. And then link in bio. All right, so this is your static image. And normally this is the type of graphic we would upload to Instagram, but instead of making it just sit there like this, we're gonna make it animated. So let me show you how to do that. It is so simple. Go right up to the download arrow, click on download. And then where it says file type, you just wanna drop down and go all the way to the bottom where it says animation. Click on that. Now, as you can see in the preview here, it shows you how it animates. But if you slide down, you can choose the way you want it to animate. So this one is fade. Then we have pan. Let's see how that looks. I kind of like pan. Then we have block. 
I don't really like black because it gives those white block strips right before the font comes. But if you like that, go with that. Then there's slide, which that's kind of cool, but that's doing a little too much for me. I mean, you got the flowers pulling in and the text. Okay, then there's breathe, where it just kind of gets larger and comes into your view a little bit larger. And then there's rise. I like rise. Let's do rise. I think I'm gonna do rise. So once you select the animation style that you like, then you just simply click download. Now these MP4s do take a little bit longer to download than just a picture, but it's not too long. All right, now we have our animation downloaded. Let's click on play to see how it looks. <laughs> so think about animating your next Instagram graphic or quote just to switch your content up a little bit. In my next video, I'll be showing you how you can make custom branded Instagram quotes on the fly with the Canva app. So stay tuned for that video. Thank you so much for watching and for more Canva tutorials, be sure to click the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.